Okay. Look at all the women, the women here. I know the women are all up here. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to go, the squalls are going to hang out with the other squalls. Well, you, you know all about us by hearing, but uh -huh. you can't do it. The sawmill will do that. <laughs> I think you'd be surprised. This thing doesn't make much noise, but uh -huh. it really does. Planers, surprisingly yeah. quiet. Planers make a lot Planer, of noise. Planers, on the other hand, will make noise. Absolutely. Well, that, that's a serious blade. <laughs> it's a 42-inch blade, which, as sawmills go, it's pretty small. Quite honestly, some of them are 60-inch blades, which go up. Not like that. It just takes a lot more power. To but you need a lot more power than I've got to drive it, exactly. But the way this thing works, it's got this long steel cable that is hooked to this uh, carriage. And this thing here is called the husk. A bunch of belts and pulleys. And when you pull down on this lever, it rotates this drum in such a way that it pulls the carriage into the saw. And then when I push up on it, it changes the direction and wraps up the cable and pulls the uh, carriage back again. So it's a pretty... Where is this thing? The husk part? Which lever are you? This one at the... Oh, this is this, uh, <laughs> this week. bunch of cables and pulleys here. This is a big invention, really, that made the whole thing work. In fact, the sawmills today look almost exactly like this. It's very... Uh, Good design. Okay, so you can stand here and watch it and not get yeah. The guy that stands here is called the Sawyer. He's the one that decides when to saw and how thick to saw and all that kind of stuff. And when he's ready to pull, he I'm ready. Goes through there. <laughs> Nancy Lynn's the one that grabs the guy that grabs the slabs is called the off barrel. <laughs> you see that big pile of slabs out there. Uh, that's what happens. To those. How, how do you determine the thickness of the cut of the plant? Okay, that's a good question. It's called the uh, set works. And uh, let me get by here and I'll show you. Oh, this is this is a real thing. The overhand floor will be. You see the whole carriage moves over. Uh -huh. All right. So then. You set the amount there and then you repeat it here. Well, that thing just, you use that one time after the last board is cut and you want this carriage to move back to the next oh, back to the original. Yeah. And then you say, step on it. And all right, now wait a minute. How does it automatically, okay, so you roll the thing back. It's, you, 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 the thing has got to go to this side. Yeah. How do you determine that amount? That amount? Uh, well, it's it's sort of arbitrary when you're loading a log. If you got a great big log like that one, it's got to go more than a little log. For instance, uh, to get that log on here, I gotta manually back this thing up quite a bit. For each plank, you, you cut a plank, mm -hmm. a one-inch plank, and then for the next one, do you manually adjust that again? Yeah. Then you would go, then you would turn, turn these things like this, and I'd back up, and I'd say, okay, that's one-inch plank. See it move in one inch. Uh -huh. Go back to that stop. There's the next four. Okay. So so full, full on <laughs> one inch. Right. Well, it can be anything. These things. I can, uh, <laughs> yeah. Right there. Uh, but you can set those uh, to make them any width you you uh. want to. And if you were really good, this dial here will allow you to uh, set the width too. But uh, I've never mastered that thing, hmm. so I just do it this way. Nevertheless, I want it clear. He learned all this when he was my first postdoc. He was for those Well, those are good years, John. I'll tell you. They really were. Those are the best. He learned how to be innovative, didn't he? That's right.
<laughs> so, uh, let me show you the engine that runs this thing. Um, are there any other questions about this? What are you going to saw? I'm going to saw in a minute. Okay. This is uh, the guy that cleared the forest for two years. Wow. Boss, what was his name? Watson. Watson. Very good. I mean, he was one of the you know, original Sawyers around for this kind of equipment. In fact, that engine always started with a crank. And he started it 50 years with a crank himself. And I started it a couple times. But it's real hard and I bought a start. <laughs> but he, he invented this thing. And what it is, it's rich and Yeah, it comes in here and it closes that. So, once you got the log on the carriage, uh -huh. you open this up so you can walk around in here. Otherwise, you're always stepping over the, this log, which is a brilliant thing. Uh -huh. We just figured out the handle for your doornails. What's that? I said, couldn't get a big horseshoe, bend the ends over. Oh, well, that'd be yeah, good. I'd be love to do that. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's a big dry belt and then there's a smaller belt mm -hmm. there. When it cranks up, there's a differential, just like a car differential up here that uh, runs. You can see it up there just a little. You see the gear up there anyway. Yeah, you can see the gear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that thing turns and uh, pulls the chain around. So it just keeps going. It'll be obvious when I crank it up really clutch blade. But it's there in case you run into a nail or a big knot or something in your log. So it doesn't it restricts how far the saw can move one way or the other. Which is sort of a safety thing. And this is the most important safety device. Uh, it's called a splitter. So when your board is coming off, it keeps it from going back on the saw and shooting back at the Sawyer. Yes. So that's really important. <laughs> <laughs> that would be dangerous, wouldn't it? Yes. That's a pretty good huh. uh, This was run by steam engine initially, you know, it was a big wide belt. They use V-belts nowadays on, on saw mills. But that was, uh, that's a typical steam engine belt. And the people we bought it from didn't have any of this protection uh -uh. Nothing. Uh -huh. The guy was just standing here by the belt flying by. It's a mystery, and John, you'll love this. It's basically two engines. On this side, it's gas. It's got a carburetor, uh -huh. magneto, spark plug. That's how it's been switch over. It starts on gas, and it's got a little bitty gas tank here. Uh -huh. This little thing here is only about a quart of gas. <laughs> so once it starts on gas, then you switch it over and it becomes a diesel engine. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. That's truly, truly astounding. Well, you, you do that manually? Yeah, this is the thing right here. Uh -huh. In fact, you have to push that back to the two sets of valves in there. Those are the snow sets running on gas. So once it warms up a little bit, we'll pull that down and and turn it into a diesel okay. <laughs> Pretty amazing thing. <laughs> this is a crank. Which he gave up on. I what I'm going to do. Yeah, I remember those. With his... <laughs> <laughs> or anything.
is. She's strong as can be. Ah, 